are doing a pack with me. Well, with Leo, really. This is a short video about packing Leo's suitcase. This is all new to me. I have no idea what I should and shouldn't be packing, which is why I have literally Leo's whole life in front of me at the moment. So um, I'm gonna pop Leo in his cot so that he can watch me. I feel it's only fair that he helps pack his own suitcase. So here we go. We are going to start with clothes, the most important thing. First of all, I am going to get Leo's suitcase. Now, we got this um, just, I think, at the end of last year. Um, obviously, it's a trunky. We love the trunky. Leo has been riding it, so it's been quite sweet. So, in the trunky, I am going to put all of Leo's clothes for the day. Yesterday, I really sadly ironed all of Leo's clothes. I'm going to start with evening wear. So, um, one of our favourite brands is Mamas and Papas. So we have some lovely shorts from them. These are also Mamas and Papas. They're smart, but really cute. So they are all going in. And not forgetting Leo's favourite Ralph Lauren. Obviously, what baby doesn't have Ralph Lauren? So right, they are going in. going for shirts so this is lovely Rachel Riley shirt I might just roll this one up just so that it doesn't get too crisp uh, the waistcoat which matches those really cute little shorts again mums and papas uh, mums and papas floral shirt Rachel Riley striped polo and again mamas and papas denim shirt so i think to stop creasing i'm just gonna roll these up and just pop them in there i actually really enjoy packing i think that it's a time to get excited sam hates packing so usually i have to do his too so now I have to do Leo's packing and Sam's packing and my packing. So, lots of packing. Right, so that is the evening wear in. Now we are going for day wear. So I can't wait to show you some of these adorable little outfits. So I did have a little bit of a holiday haul on Mamas and Papas, I have to say. But how cute are these? I thought these would be perfect for just breakfast or wandering down to the pool. They're smart but casual. Got this lovely, I mean, Sam thinks this is wild, and it is, but you can't wear things like this on holiday, then when can you? I've got a lot of these vest rompers because I think they're just going to be easy to put on, they're easy to pack, they don't take up much room, and they're super cute. I have a romper for each day. Yeah. I have some shorts and t-shirts set, so I've got a couple of these, this really cute little set, stripy set as well, with some stripy shorts, it might be a bit hot, we can resist this could we, you like it, yes, again I think I'm just going to roll them up just to save on creasing. One of our new favourite brands, it's called Holon Au Perret. It means Buddy and the Little One and it's a Swedish brand. Which we're really looking forward to wearing, aren't we Leo? Yes. <coughs> yes. He ranges between a 9 to 12 month and a 12 plus. He's in between sizes at the moment. For bedtime I have some really simple white vests to put him in, but to be honest we might just end up putting him in nappies because uh, it's going to be hard. Right, so I have actually filled up half of his suitcase already 
Um, yeah, but I have my big suitcase too. I've actually checked on an, an extra whole bag just so that I'm not really stressed about trying to fit extra things in. Um, don't want to be stressed about that. So next, let's go on to swimwear. Leo has been very lucky and has been gifted a lot of these items. So I will list all of the items that he has uh, received for his holiday. But we're going to start with this uh, lovely brand again. Polon Au Peret. As you can see, some snazzy shorts for Leo here. Um, we have got one uh, Rachel Riley, Frugi. We love a bit of Frugi. Frugi frogs. And four, some fish. So we've got four trunks which is actually probably more than enough, but just in case we have any accidents, because you just never know. We also have um, a pop swim nappy. Um, now these are really great just for making sure that you don't have any accidents in the pool. That would be quite embarrassing. Uh, these are called, I think they're called rash tops. Helps ensure that the skin's protected. Um, so yeah, that, we've got a couple of these in a few different colours, an orange one, so we've got three rash vests, now on to my favourite ones, Frugi again, Mr Shark, again these are really great for just sort of keeping the skin covered, it's going to be quite hot, with a matching hat of course, we'll try that on in a minute shall we, wow, that's super cool, blue number here with matching hat there we go and again a nice little bodysuit with a little hat here important to have hats Leo doesn't wear them but this one's got some really nice stringy pieces one of our favorite brands at the moment yay Leo oh you look so lovely <laughs> thank you should we put that in your suitcase Oh, and we also have a Frugi frog matching hat as well. Now, the one thing I have invested in, uh, I went onto Amazon and looked for a swim vest because Leo hasn't really been swimming that much and I just want to make sure that he's safe in the pool. So, we found this. Now, this is the most adorable little life vest that I found. I didn't actually realise, but it has a shark fin. How cute is that? Um, yeah, and uh, this is Sunny Kids. So um, here, as you can see, really, really, really good quality and very, very cute. And this was um, £30 of Amazon. Finally, for the swimwear, no swimwear is complete without a funky towel. <laughs> yeah, it's cute, isn't it? So, um, this is Leo's towel. He lo actually loves it. He's looking at it right now. You love your towel, don't you? We'll pop it on in a minute. Yes. Um, and it basically, the arms go through here and it's a bit of a poncho style and this is from Frugi. So, um, again, that is Leo all set. What I am going to do is try and get as much of this swimwear into the trunky um, and anything that doesn't fit in, I am going to put in my suitcase. I will share with you, Leo. I know it's hard to get everything into one case. He's a size 4.5 already, um, and of course, Nikes. Um, now it's really hard to get babies to wear sunglasses. These ones actually fit me. <laughs> I have quite a small head. 
Um, but these are Leo's baby eaters. Of course he's got baby eaters. So we're gonna be popping those into mm. nappies. I am going to try and put a few of these in Leo's push chair and I will hide them in before we check on the plane. Someone gave me a good tip to put your nappies underneath the basket of your travel push chair and it just saves room in the case. I also am going to try some reusable nappies. Um, I've never tried these before yet, but I think that on holiday it just might be a good way to prevent a bit of waste and I really should have started doing this earlier. But it's, I guess like the washing of them put me off, so I'm gonna let you know how that goes. Um, check out my video coming up all about reusable nappies. Now, for child sun cream, there's one brand that I absolutely love. This is Child Sun. It smells amazing, so I love when Leo wears this because I just keep sniffing him. So we've got a range of items in here. We've got some after sun. We've got this 50 and 30. And we also have some hair detangler for Leo's hair. It is getting a little bit long now. There's also a roll-on version of the sun cream too, just for ease. I'm going to pop those in my child's fun bag and they will go in my big suitcase that I am putting in the holder. For dinner times. Now it's really important that with all of these lovely clothes, Leo, that we don't make a mess. So, Ruby have very kindly sent us this really, really good sort of wipeable bib. It's plasticky, it's got a little catch pocket and I think you're going to be very happy with this, aren't you, Leo? few little extras. Leo has recently started walking, so Trunky sent us this very lovely set of reins. Now, on holiday, I want to make sure that he doesn't go wandering off, so it clips around like a harness, and there we go. A little lead for Leo. And a lion. Obviously, it had to be a lion for our little Leo. And to match, just so that he can take his own stuff down to the pool, we've got a little Leo Lion bag. This is from Trunky. They have a great range of kids travel products. Now a few holiday extras that I just thought I would mention is vitamins. Uh, recently Leo has been taking vitamins and I think that while we are traveling it's really important too. So BioCult have sent me these infant vitamins and I think that these are going to be great. It says on here that they have vitamin D, omega-3 and seven strains of live bacteria. So it says that it's really good for babies to take whilst traveling. So we are going to be taking these as well. Again, extras. I've got some swimming plasters just because you never know. I have some Diorolite. I mean, this is good for all the family, not just for Leo. So we've got some of that in. A brand new sippy cup. Now this is from Hippie Chick and I love this. Look what it does got a little straw so yeah I think Leo's gonna really love that he just he loves his sippy cups everywhere he goes around the house see sippy cup you can just hold on to that for a little while also got I, I actually keep this around the house and when it was really warm in the summer I um, it's just basically water mist so that if you get hot by the pool just mist yourself nappy wipes um, I'm actually being sent some aqua wipes um, for travel, um, but just in case they don't arrive on time, these are going in. I have also got my Curapox dummies. I have been using these since Leo was a baby, and they're really good for the mouth shape. Um, they're really, really good dummies. I have also been sent from Hippie Chick this. Now this is a buggy buddy, and what it does is it folds out into like a protection screen. You can clip it onto whatever buggy you've got and it should just take the sun out of baby space. So that's going into my suitcase. Finally, and I think this is important for everyone traveling on holiday, it's just a little um, wet bag so that if you've got anything wet, you can just put wet clothes inside. Again, this is going into my case. I'm also going to pack some My Little Pseudocreme because it's great for Basically anything, isn't it? Let's face it. So I think here between Leo and I, we've just about got it covered. We've got evening wear, day wear, t-shirts for sleeping, nappies, trainers, socks, sunglasses, sun cream, reusable nappies, reins, swimwear, vitamins, 
Have I missed anything? I mean, please, if I've missed anything, comment below. I would love to know for next time. Uh, I also have a little travel blanket here for the plane in case it gets cold, because as we know, air conditioned planes are not the nicest, um, warmest places. And I might pop in some ear defenders. Um, I've got some ear defenders. Perhaps they'd be quite good for the plane. A little toothbrush I've got for him, which obviously he's using at the moment. So, uh, I'll pack that last minute with mine, and I think we're just about good to go. So um, yeah, I'm gonna finish putting these all in the case. So there are keys for this trunky. It just about shuts, which I'm really pleased about because this lot that's gone into this case is considered a cabin bag. I've already checked. So hopefully EasyJet will have no issues with this. Um, the key is actually on the end here, so we can just lock it once it's done, just to make sure nothing comes out. And there we go! Leo's suitcase is officially packed. So guys, thanks for watching our How to Pack With Me video. We're now off to pack Mummy's suitcase. You can follow me on Instagram at Rachel Ducker. We'll uh, see you at the airport. Thanks for watching.